The Mike Hosking Breakfast, six to nine weekdays on News Talks FB. You know, there it was always coming because it's part of the coalition deal, but the Willis letter to a couple of select committees yesterday sets up, of all the inquiries and market studies we've had, probably the most interesting investigation yet. Banks and whether we are getting a decent deal. Is there enough competition? The rural community, of course, screaming at the moment over their behaviour. There seems a very fair weather social licence issue to be dealt into there. Uh, the Reserve Bank and commercial banks, they're at each other. Observers of the retail operators look on with interest at the margins charged here versus the margins charged in Australia. Remembering, of course, they're basically the same banks. So a lot to look into, like all the other market studies, though, whether petrol or supermarkets or building supplies, looking into stuff is one thing. Working out what to do, if anything, is another. What if it's found, for example, the Reserve Bank really is a problem? They are independent of the government. What does the government do about that? A Kiwi Bank's supposed to be a disruptor. It isn't. Do you do anything about that? If a farmer is not helped in the way they might have wanted and the committee finds banks are withdrawing from the rural sector, what actually do you do about that? On the flip side, banks are successful and we like and want that. The sustainability of banks is critical to an economy and in that we have been fortunate. How much has government policy through COVID messed with banks and lending in the economy? Are we getting to the DTIs, the LVRs, the treatment of investors, the flow on effect to housing and rentals, the first home buyers and access to money? This in some way or another if you think about it, touches about every single one of us. As always, with big business people, we'll go in, of course, with a preconceived notion, oh, banks are thieves or bullies or rip-off merchants, the Reserve Bank is overbearing. But, but, given we seem, rightly or wrongly, to be obsessed with inquiries, here goes another one, the trick is not to have it end up like the others, where next to nothing happens. The Mike Hosking Breakfast, 6 to 9 weekdays on News Talks FB.